This video is the proprietary content of Pusat Perubatan University, Malaya, and is intended for educational purposes only. Please ensure proper acknowledgement when using or referencing this material. Welcome to our training video on Peripheral Intravenous Catheter, PIVC, Insertion. This video will guide you through the essential steps to safely and effectively insert Peripheral Intravenous Catheter. Remember, patient safety and comfort are our top priorities. First, begin by preparing the patient. Confirm their identity and clearly explain the procedure to them or their caregiver. Ask about any past issues with intravenous insertions or any known allergies to antiseptic. Finally, be sure to obtain verbal consent before proceeding. Healthcare workers must have short, clean nails with no nail polish, shirt sleeves are rolled up, ties slash lanyards slash scarves are tucked in, clean tray with disinfectant wipes. Next, gather all equipments. Perform hand hygiene using hospital-approved alcohol-based hand rub before preparing normal saline 0.9% for flushing. Prepare normal saline flushing using a 10 ml syringe with a septic non-touch technique ANTT. Cap syringe with sterile cap slash stopper. Perform hand hygiene before touching a patient. Select the appropriate vein for insertion. A site where the vein is long, straight, and accessible. Ensuring not on the antecubital fossa or near a bony prominences. Apply tourniquet approximately 4 to 5 fingers width, above selected venipuncture site. Perform hand hygiene after touching the patient. Perform hand hygiene before donning clean gloves. Clean the insertion site with a 70% alcohol swabs, using a circular motion starting from center and moving outward. Make sure to let it dry completely before proceeding. Insert the cannula carefully, ensuring that you don't touch the clean insertion site with your gloved fingers. Maintain the aseptic non-touch technique ANTT, throughout the procedure. If you find that you're unable to maintain ANTT, switch to using sterile gloves immediately. Hold the catheter at a 10 to 30 degree angle to the skin and gently insert it into the vein. When you see a flashback of blood, advance the catheter slightly, then carefully advance the catheter hub while simultaneously withdrawing the needle. Dispose the introducer into the sharp bin. Attach an extension set slash needleless connector. Administer I.V flushing using 0.9% normal saline, with push-pause technique, following a septic non-touch technique. This involves delivering 10 short boluses of 1 ml solution, with brief pauses between each to ensure effective flushing. Secure cannula with a sterile transparent semi-permeable dressing. Ensure the exit site is visible. Remove gloves into the clinical bin. Perform hand hygiene immediately after insertion of cannula, due to risk of exposure to body fluids. Label the site of insertion with date of insertion. Perform hand hygiene after touching patient. Document the procedure in the insertion chart, such as the Peripheral Intravenous Assessment Observation PIO, chart and patient's notes. Be sure to include the insertion date and time, the site of insertion, the catheter gauge, the number of attempts required, and the condition of insertion site. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has been helpful in enhancing your clinical practice.
Please note that the content is based on the guidelines on peripheral intravenous catheter, PIVCS, for adults in UMMC. Stay committed to providing the best care for your patients.